and welcome to this week's Thinkers and Tinkerers activity from the Pinoca Jubilee Library. This week we will be making a baby penguin out of cardstock paper. For this activity, you will need the paper kit from the Pinoca Jubilee Library, scissors, a ruler, and white glue. You may also use a toothpick or tweezers to apply the glue. Please note, other glues can work, but we found that white glue had the best effect. In your kit, you will find instructions for making your animal, as well as pieces of printed cardstock. You will note that each piece on the cardstock has a letter, number, combo, and three colored lines. Red solid lines are to be cut with scissors. The dotted blue lines indicate a valley fold. The green dot and dash lines indicate a mountain fold. A valley fold, as indicated by the blue dotted lines, means folding a paper into a V or a valley shape. The paper fold is at the bottom. A mountain fold, as indicated by the green dot and dash line, means you fold the paper as an upside down V, which creates a mountain shape. The paper fold is at the top. A tip for folding. Make all the necessary folds before gluing. Use a ruler to create clean folds. Use the assembly instructions to place each piece. The instructions will say which piece should attach to each other. You can either cut out all of the pieces before assembly or cut each piece as required. Personally, I prefer to cut each piece as required because it allowed time for the previous piece to dry with the glue. The first step for the penguin involves cutting out pieces B1 and B12. Trim along the red lines. Mount and fold all the green dot slash dash lines and valley fold the blue dotted lines. To glue the pieces together, ensure that you only glue folds that match up to the number. For example, you want to make sure that the fold on one piece that says 163 is only glued to the side that's the other piece that has 163. Continue this process until the bird is done. Some tips we have for making this project. Give each glued piece at least one minute to dry. If a piece is refusing to stay, apply pressure to the glue by holding the two pieces together for a few minutes and then set aside for another minute to dry. Glue one section of a piece at a time. Thank you for joining us today. Please feel free to post pictures of your creation on the Pinoca Jubilee Library Facebook or Instagram page. Have a great day.